Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Perfect Pitch, the made-up movie card game. It's for 3 to 10 players, about 15 to 30 minutes for ages 14 and up. However, I believe you could play with as many players as you can get in a room to play the game. In the game Perfect Pitch, you're going to be basically pairing up into teams or multiples of people, and you're going to have one studio exec. That studio exec is going to be the judge for the round, and much like other judging card games, you're going to get a hand of six cards or a hand of cards and you're going to then look through the cards as a team or as an individual depending on how you want to set it up. Choose two words from all of the cards and pitch a movie to the studio exec. Everybody is going to pitch their movie based on the cards they have chosen and the words on the cards and then the studio exec is, exec is going to say which one of the movies is the best. Every person on the team of the winning movie is going to receive a point which you can do based on uh, using your cell phone or tablet or simply just going and write on a piece of paper and then the studio exec is going to get fired and a new person is going to be the studio exec and new teams will switch around. The game is obviously a movie uh, pitching game in which you're just kind of trying to make up your own movie as best as possible. Let's go ahead and show you what it looks like. So here we have Perfect Pitch, the made-up movie card game and its contents. You're going to be getting a box as well as the instructions in the back here, and then a big stack of cards. The cards are obviously going to have words on them on one side or the other. I'm uh, just going to say that the word, this is evil, here's money, here's shot, safe, mind, present, so on and so forth. You're then going to distribute uh, out six cards to each team. You can set up teams of two or three, however you want to do that. And then obviously a single studio exec, or if you wanted to, I suppose, you could actually have a team of studio execs who decides and uh, make it just a big team game. But the idea is everybody gets their six cards, one person or team people will be judging, and the people that are going to be trying to make their movie are going to decide which ones are going to be the best. So maybe we would pick uh, Fly School, it could be one of the movies, or maybe we'll have Hell Room being one of the movies, and how about um, Cold Blood being another movie. And then each player or team is going to then be able to pitch their movie to the exec, and uh, the exec will then say, okay, which movie they think that works the best, and if this one worked the best, this team would win. They would score a point. And then, of course, the studio exec would get fired. And a new person would be the studio exec. And then we would switch teams again and continue the game like that. You can play as long as you want, as many points as you want. And after you guys are finished, whoever has the most points is the winner. Let's go ahead and top, and I'll try and, um, I'll try and pitch you Fly School, Hell Room, and Cold Blood. Let's see what you guys think. Hello, sir. Have you heard of my new movie, Fly School? It is a movie about a large plethora of different flies all getting together on a high school campus. Much like any other teen flick, except that we're going to be adding, instead of normal human teenagers, fly teenagers. Of course, flies don't live very long, so it'll be an interesting adaptation to a basic teen drama. We'll show fly love and romance, as well as the care for larvae and other types of bugs, add in a little splash of uh, maybe some kind of crazy action scene going on between one of the flies against bully fly, throwing in of course the girlfriend that is caring about this other guy but he has some kind of problem with him and then they all have some kind of resolution in the end and then of course at the very end of the movie you'll have the all the different characters have a little montage at the end that explains exactly what happens to them later in life. Fly School, an excellent movie, you should definitely pick us. Hello good sir, I have an interesting movie that I have just finished writing I think it will be right up your alley, the movie is called Hell Room. Hell Room is based on a uh, Saw type franchise in which there's going to be a single room with a bunch of inhabitants inside the room. They don't know how they got there or what they need to do to get out, but every 25 minutes somebody is falls through the floor and goes straight to hell. Of course that is a very dangerous thing and nobody is knowing why, but they've noticed that there's inscriptions and different demonic passageways all across the room. And so them being of course a scientist, an engineer, a mathematician, a high school student and an NBA basketball player are all going to decipher the different pieces around the room to try and figure out how to escape. And you might say this is very similar to the cube, and I would tell you no, you were wrong sir. Hello, this is a great movie that I definitely think you should check out, it's called Cold Blood. And no, 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 it's not what you're thinking at all. It's a movie where you actually are going to just be watching cold blood rolling down different hallways and passageways, going downstairs. You're going to be basically seeing the life cycle of cold blood. Maybe it'll start off with somebody being um, 
killed in some way in, in manner. And basically you're just gonna watch about an hour and a half of blood slowly rolling down hallways and stairs, down sidewalks, through gutters, down into the alleyways, and seeing the life cycle of what it's like to be liquid in a town or a business area. A very excellent movie. I definitely suggest you check out Cold Blood. Let's go ahead and get this thing going. Let's go and get the ball rolling on Cold Blood. It's just like rubber, but even more fun and excitement. So after the three pitches, you're just going to simply have the studio exec, which will be my cameraman, select the movie that they think is the best of the three. Cold blood. Let's get Nick Cage in on this. Give him a ring. All right, I'm going to go ahead and bring <laughs> Nick Cage on this. Awesome. Cold blood would be the winner. Everybody that selected the movie Cold Blood is going to actually get victory points. And of course, they would move on like that. That's the basic idea of the game. A simple judging game with the idea of making the perfect pitch to the studio exec. Of course, depending on the player, it will be different for them. Um, so that's it. That's, that's the basic idea of the game. So what do I think about the game? Well, first of all, it's a judging game like most others, but it has the movie type pitching it's different in in some ways from other game, other other um games i've reviewed like um what are the three other ones we reviewed grant I'm trying to think of them right now flip the script, flip the script what, the film. what the film and well, something else but they're very similar in styles i'm basically trying to say but this one has the unique twist of playing the up your opponent by using just the cards in hand. Now, there's not any artwork in the game, at least from what I see, so there could be, there could not be. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but so I'm not going to really judge it on artwork. It's simply cards and words. Putting a pitch together for the player that is the studio executive as a team or by yourself and trying to score the most points. And it works just fine. I mean, I'm not going to say it's the best thing in the world. It's not the worst thing in the world. It's going to be something like are you guys movie buffs? Do you guys really enjoy that? Do you want to make your own movies up? Do you want to help have a little bit of help doing that? This is definitely one of those creative style games in which you can go ahead and do that. It's a deck of cards with words. If you like that aspect in the game, if you like making movies, you obviously heard my example of attempting to do this. We've cracked these kind of games out many, many times before and always have a good time doing it. So I think that kind of stands to reason. It's one of those things where it's either going to be a yes to you or a no. You're right there. You're going to know whether or not you want to pick up this game. But it was it's fun nonetheless. I enjoy judging games like this. I like the different, I guess, genres and twists they put on it. Sometimes you have to act out as a type of character in a movie, and sometimes you have to act out as what it'd be like to be in a movie of this type. And then other ones like this one, you're going to have to actually make your own movie based on the words that are provided. Would it be cooler if it had some artwork on there? Definitely. I think so. Give it a little more theme, maybe add some extra like things where you can have the uh, studio exec toss in a random thing, whereas you've just got your movie ready, and then they give you a card that says, except for the fact that that movie also has to have something to do with frogs or like blood freighting from down the, down the sky and give it a little twist like that. I think that'd be kind of cool. But overall, it's like right in the middle for me. When I play a game like this, sure, any kind of judging game, I'm definitely going to be down to play. Is it something super unique, super inventive? Also, no, not, not really. But uh, I'll let you guys decide in the description below if you're interested in checking out the game Perfect Pitch. It's currently on Kickstarter. You can go ahead and pick it up if it sounds like something to be interested to you.